Okay, well, good morning. Um, thanks for coming in and uh, welcome to the first press conference of the season. It's uh, first day of December, so really uh, into basketball season at this point. Our guys are 24 practices in, um, play a game. First game of the year will be at home Friday night against Rockhurst. Uh, Rock comes into town and uh, they're off a Elite Eight appearance last year, so they're one win away from the Final Four. And then Sunday we'll go to Columbia uh, to play in the prestigious Norm Stewart Classic. And a uh, neat opportunity within that will be that that game will be broadcast on ESPN3. So we will be able to, for folks who can't make it down, we'll be able to have it streamed uh, not only for everybody here locally to see, but, but nationally to see, which is really neat for our players and um, you know fans. and. The alumni, the people who've you know supported the program and helped build the program, now they get the opportunity to maybe catch it while they're in college and doing things. So it's a neat opportunity um, to take advantage of that. We've got eight seniors, um, and and it's a really really fun group, a neat group that um, you know they they've worked really hard for for the vast majority of these guys. They've been in our program four years in some capacity, and so they. They feel like it's their time. They feel like they've earned the right to, you know, compete and win. Um, whether or not we do or not will be determined by how we play on the floor. Um, but we start really heavy with our schedule. So um, we'll be, Rockhurst will come in, we'll go to Columbia, and then we host our tournament uh, three nights, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So we'll have five games um, in about a week, and we'll find out a lot. But um, I've been very, very pleased uh, with the way that we've started, um, with the way we've been working. Um, and so, you know, obviously we're optimistic, but everybody's optimistic at this time. So we'll, we'll try to bottle it up and um, channel it to a way where we can sustain success over the period of the season. But we're certainly really excited. I appreciate you guys coming in, the coverage that you all are going to give our team this year, um, the opportunities to connect with different people, um, get our guys featured for different things. It'll be really neat, something they'll always remember. So. Um, I certainly appreciate the work that you guys are going to do to get this out to everybody. Um, so that's just kind of some general comments with that. Open it up to you all for any questions. All right. Uh, what are your expectations for this season? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, expectation-wise, I, you kind of, every year you come in and you're pretty optimistic about what the year's going to look like. But when you return as many players as we did and good players, um, then, then you've probably got a little extra oh, optimism or an extra positive outlook on it because um, these guys have been through it before. So when you return players, you know, it's kind of a catch-22. If you return a lot of players and you weren't very good, then who's to say that all of a sudden you're going to be better just because you're a year older? Well, in our case, you know, we've won 17 games back-to-back -back years. Um, and a lot of those guys have that are playing this year were on those teams two years ago and last year. So I think that they've been through some, some battles that have got them to the point where they're feeling more comfortable about being able to, you know, really gel together and play together. So I'd like to think that every night we get a chance to compete. Every night when we go and play, whoever we play, um, we got a chance to win the game. Um, and that's a really encouraging thing if you're the coach because then, you know, your guys are, uh, if you have a chance to win a game, then more than likely um, your preparation, your work ethic, all those things kind of gel together the right way. So we've got high expectations for it, but the only thing that we, you know, really, really harp on our guys about is just we want to be the best we can the day that we've got in front of us. And, um, you know, for, for our case right now, that's, that's a practice today. And then, you know, our biggest game of the year is the game against Rockers because it's our next game that we got on our schedule and we got to try to figure out a way to, um, you know, play them and play them well. Um, because you've had success in previous years, how mm -hmm. do you think that'll carry over this year? That's a neat question because I don't know if there's a, per a good answer to it because I don't think there's, I don't think there's a, a formula per se as to how something's guaranteed to happen. Um, we've had success in the past, but the way that we've had success uh, from a foundational piece has been pretty similar, but then there's always been little tweaks um, that have taken place year to year with the team. So, um, you know, the way we defend, the way we rebound the ball, those are things that are always going to be present with our teams, how hard we play, all those things will, will be present. 
but then each year each team kind of takes their own identity about who they who they are and this group will have that opportunity to have their own identity and so I don't know what that's going to look like and I don't know how that's going to play out as far as whether or not it's success or not um, but I do think that there's a residue of the way that we go about our business how we play how we act how we you know handle ourselves um, that has been here you know for for going on six years now and so that'll always be there but you know our expectations as coaches don't change just because our roster does so um, we, we still have really high expectations for them but but past success um, sometimes can be um, it, it can be both positive and negative we're hoping we can take it in a positive way what's been the main focus point uh, at practice during this this early season oh you know I don't f getting our foundation and making sure that you know, the first 24 practices are really important because you, you, when, when you have all that time without games, the guys have to have a good focus to them because they you don't want them to lose sight of what's at play. So the stuff that we're doing in practice now, when you say about, you know, what's been the emphasis, the stuff that we're doing at practice now, we're going to be doing in, in February, March, because it's the basics of who we are and we got to be really good at those things you know there's this saying in coaching it's not what you coach it's what you emphasize and so we coach a lot of different stuff I mean we've got man press break zone press break uh, you know we're down two and the balls on the sideline this is what we run you know we're up by five late this is how you know like we coach all those things but what we emphasize is the stuff that we've really been doing the last 24 practices which is we got to be a really really good defensive team we got to make sure we rebound the ball well. We got to make sure we take care of the ball, and we got to make sure that we play for each other. And we're unselfish, and so far we've been pretty good at those things. But we're also playing against each other, so let's see to the point where when we start playing somebody else, um, how that plays out. But our emphasis has been our base and who we are, um, because that's what it all come back to when when it really matters. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> As a coach or a team, do you build off a big win, something like Liberty last year, or do you build off more of like a tough loss? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Um, I think that you got to be careful. I, I, I respect the question because I think that, that from, from the outside, I think that's something that is a perception of folks where you know, the games played on momentum or emotion or, or those things. Um, in reality, the games played based upon how well you play for that 32 minutes and how well you execute for that 32 minutes. So you aren't guaranteed um, because you played well the night before. I always joke with the team, but you know, if you play really, really well the night before, you don't come into the next night seven nothing on the scoreboard before the game tips so you don't like get a carry over any extra points or anything so the only thing that you get is the opportunity to play the next day or you know be the best you can the next day so for us you know we we always say that the biggest game of the year is our next game because if you get too high after a win then you know what you get on this side you're going to pay for on the other and we don't want to do that we don't want to be that team we want to be consistent and um, that gives you the best chance to win. So um, as a coach, the wins are more of a um, relief. <laughs> They're more of a, okay, let's go on to the next one where the losses just eat at you and you're trying to figure out what the heck you got to do to play a little bit better. So um, the losses probably hurt a little bit worse, but you, you, you don't want to be this. You want to try to be as consistent as you can be. Okay, um, with the loss of five seniors, are you confident that the younger guys are going to step into those roles well? Um, well, time will tell. I, every year guys have. Um, you know, first year we didn't have seniors. Uh, played in a district championship game, and then the next four years, you know, we've had graduating classes. We had a graduating class of two, of nine, you know, uh, and, and so when you look, lost two guys, you returned a lot of guys, and you thought you felt really good about it. Then you lost nine guys the year after that, and you thought, boy, how are we going to reload? But you just keep doing it um, because nobody really cares outside of here. You know, they don't, 
Uh, Rockhurst doesn't care how many guys we got returning or how confident they are or if they're going to play well, they hope they don't. So the expectation from us is that, that you know, when you, when you build, there's a difference between a really good team and a really good program. Um, you know, and a good team can have success on any given year because maybe they've got a good player or two or, you know, they catch some right breaks. But to have a good program, you know, all that development needs to take place throughout the course of every day um, at the freshman level, at the sophomore level, at the JV level. And that's why our coaches are so important and how they run the program as far as developing our players. Um, and then what the guys do in the off season to put themselves in position. So um, I don't have any magic answer as to how I know they're going to step up because each group that leaves is so special in their own way. Um, but it's been done in the past, so I'm hoping it'll be done again. Um, what have you done to prepare for your first game against Rockers this Friday? Um, well, it's unique because, so if when we're preparing for our first game, you know, we've got all these practices up until we play them, but then at the same point, we play them Friday, then we play Columbia Rockbridge Sunday, then we play Pius on Tuesday, and then we've got our, depending upon how the bracket plays out, we've got a Thursday, Friday opponent. So I, I haven't been too hot and heavy on rock her specifically, because if I spend a ton of time on rock through these 24 practices, then I'm really overemphasizing one game, when in reality, we got five within about seven days. So. Um, the question earlier about how you're preparing, well, we're preparing with our foundational stuff in. And so uh, a little bit yesterday, more today, we'll get into the specifics of Rockhurst and how they play and who they are. Um, they play tonight, so we'll get a coach over there to watch them play, um, and he'll get a report to us uh, late tonight, or early tomorrow morning. And, and so we'll be able to tweak some things that are more specific um, to them. But early in the season, it's really important that you just, you focus on yourself. Um, Focus on yourself, try to get better at what you can do, um, and not worry so much necessarily about the opponent. Uh, what are the best features of the team as of now? Well, I think our depth. Um, I think our depth is, is something that could be a positive because during the year, you don't know how injuries are going to play. You don't know how uh, you know health guys get sick um, are going to play out. So. Depth is something that this team has a little bit more of um, with, with quality, depth, and experience. Every team's got depth because you've got to play guys, but this team specifically probably has some more quality depth. Um, so that will be a positive come game time, but the, positive, the biggest positive that I see out of it is the way that we're, we practice. Because now we've got guy number, say, 9, 10, or 11, who's a really good player who's fighting for playing time. Um, and that, that makes practice better, that creates higher level competition, which then gives guys the opportunity to hopefully practice at a level that then is more game-like, so then when we transition at games, there's not as much slippage. So depth is something that I've been encouraged about with this group, um, and, and we'll see how that plays out over time because you know there, there's so much that goes into a season, but I'd, I'd say that's one of the things. Successful teams are usually teams that have a good bond like family. What are some, thing, some of the things that you use as bonding strategies? Um, I yell at them a lot and make sure that they stay really close together. Um, no, I'm, I'm kind of joking. Um, you know, it's just got to be, it's just got to be natural. It's got to be real. Um, if it's fake or if it's some sort of slogan, I think people, uh, I think that's, that's fleeting. I think that that lasts short periods of time. Um, but it's got to be real and, and it's got to be through your actions. So, you know, as we break down the family or as we talk about that, that means, you know, you're taking care of the guy next to you. So you're taking care of them on the floor, but you know, you're also making sure that things off the floor are going okay. As coaches, you know, you're working with them and you're treating them as you know, people, not just players and X's and O's. And, um, so you know, there, there, there's, there's lots of sayings or things that could go into it, but what I would tell you that most important for us is just our action and how we go about our business is kind of who we are and how we become, um, you know, what we've been and then what we hope to be this year too. So 
Um, I appreciate y'all coming in um, so early. I look forward to catching up with you guys weekly, um, you know, seeing you at games and, and talking to you throughout the year. I um, appreciate the coverage you're going to give us to get other people an opportunity to see kind of what goes on and how hard our guys work and how much they put into it. That's a really neat aspect of, of, of the guys and what they do. So um, we're excited. We're very, very excited about the season uh, getting started. And we certainly look forward to seeing you all there and uh, talking to you throughout the season. So hopefully I see you Friday night uh, when Rockers comes in. Thanks.